just came from the shop. Um, I'm in Croatia. I'm not going to say which city I'm in yet. I'm pretty sure that it'll come out uh, sometime, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, according to the guy at the kiosk who threw money at me and called me African and told Afrikanski and told me, get out of here, black, fuck off, he told me. Because he had, and I recorded this, he had uh, one of these drinks here, which these I bought from Interspa, but I had another one, which I'll show you. It's an empty one here. I just threw it away in the uh, trash. This one I brought from him. Uh, he told me, uh, I was like, I had just walked 15 uh, kilometers from where I was wild camping. So I was hot, it's 37 degrees Celsius here, which is very hot. And um, he told, and I, I asked him, I said, um, when I first walked up to him, I said, do you speak uh, English? You know, I haven't been in Croatia that long, so I'm not gonna be fluent in Croatian. And he was like, um, I speak a little bit. And I, I asked him if he knew where the street, where my accommodation is, where I am now. I asked him if he knew where it was and he was like, just look on the side of the buildings for the street name. And I'm like, yeah, I get that. But like, I don't know where, which direction I see the street names, but I can be walked. So I'm like, okay. And I just walked off. Well, I saw he had drinks. So I was like, let me um, get my money and go back over there. Cause I was feeling really dizzy. So I went over there and, um, I got my money and I had, um, one euro 40 in my hand so i was looking at all the drinks if you go there now you can see it it's at, uh, i took a video of it but he had these drinks right here which are from croatia they were uh 109 in his shop in interspar in the supermarket here in croatia they're 106. he charged me 140. so when i got to the register i handed him one euro 20 cents which he should have given me uh, about 10 cents euro back. But instead he told me to give him 30 cents more. So I told him, no, like I'm not gonna give you 30 cents more. The drink that's listed in your refrigerator says one euro nine, I handed you one euro 20. So you're supposed to be giving me 10 cents back. So he was like, uh, I day, I day. And they love doing this to me. Yesterday, I was standing outside using the Wi-Fi, and a guy, opened his window and threw something at my back. I, I, w I went live when that happened. It's on my YouTube channel. Today, I go to the kiosk. They really have a problem with black people here. Like I heard the rumors about Croatia before I got here. And I'm not one of those people that follow rumors. If somebody say everybody shit, that, that's your experience. That's not my experience. Yes, I'm going to take heed to what you said. And like, you know, be on the lookout for some strange shit. But I, if just because somebody says that somebody is bad, that doesn't mean they're gonna be bad to me. And for all I know, you could be the liar. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna to come to Croatia. I'm gonna see for myself if, if the people are how they say they are. And if they are, you won't see my black ass here no more. So two days in a row, someone has thrown something at me and it's been a Croatia male both times and the smaller village I was in and now I'm in a bigger city it happened twice in two days so I kept recording him because I'm like you and then he's talking about Afrikanski then he started getting other people there was another guy on the recording I sent it to um two people because if anything happened to me here in Croatia there's going to be proof of like how it happened because I've never not felt safe to where I had like Okay, I've had people fight me in, in, in uh, Eastern Europe. People who know, know what happened. I've had people literally physically put their hands on me. I've had people threaten me and everything. But I know I can take care of myself. But the thing is, is that here in Croatia, it's happening too frequently. If it was happening like once every couple months and I left and came back and it happened the next year, maybe. But twice in two days, someone's thrown something at me and both times it's been a Croatian male. 
This time the guy told me, you, you're in the Balkans. You need to speak Croatian. I'm like, but I just got here. I'm not going to every, every country I go to, I'm not going to be fluent. I travel to so many countries. I speak Hungarian pretty well. I speak other languages enough to communicate with because I spend a lot of time in those countries. I just got to Croatia like a month ago. So it's like, I'm not going to be fluent in Croatian. That's it. And I told him, then he was like, uh, get out of here, Afrikanski. And I said, first of all, I'm not African. I said, you, you talking about my ancestors and you keep playing around and I'm just going to keep it cute and you. But I said, but I'm American and I show him my passport. I, he's like, I'm going to call the police. I said, call the police, call the police. You can't threaten me with the police because I'm here legally. Call the police. Because when I tell them that you got violent with me, then you're going to be in trouble. So please call the police. He's like, I'm, and then he's like doing like this, like he about to get out and do something. So I stood there because I'm like, listen, really, these people running around here in these streets, like, you know, they talking to us because let me tell you something. In this part of the world, God help the kind people that are here. Okay. But in my experience, I can only, I can only say what's in my experience. And I'm sorry if I'm being loud, but I'm, this thing's really got me because it keeps happening to me. And like when I meet, like I was in a taxi with the taxi driver and he told me, just ignore these people because they're primitive. And I'm like, yeah, I, he's Croatian too. And I'm like, I understand that, but like it keeps happening. It is happening too often. And I can't have somebody throwing stuff at me. Like, you know, I just can't have that. I'm not the type of person to constantly let somebody uh, be violent towards me and I not do anything. Like it's happened two times in a row and both times I walked off and I recorded them because now, now you're threatening my safety. And since in Croatia, I can't defend myself because what I did, the place where I was wild camping, I asked the guy there, I said, if I'm, because let me tell you where I was. There was a house like here. And then there was the sidewalk. I was under the impression that the sidewalk is public. Plus, that's where the public Wi-Fi is. And it's right across the street from the bus station. So I said, um, okay, I always stand here. Yesterday, it was 35 degrees Celsius in where I was. That's fucking hot, okay? Where I was standing was one of the shadier spots. So I said, let me stand in the shade. It's free Wi-Fi here. I always stand in that area. I was in that area for one month and anybody who's seen me always see me there or across the street. But I always stand somewhere near that area because the signal for the Wi-Fi is strongest there. And I needed to call back home and let everybody know I was okay. He gonna open his, first he saw me and he, he was like, his gate was over here. I wasn't standing there. His house was here and I was right at the corner, but on the sidewalk, not in his house, on the sidewalk. Yes, my water bottle was on, like there was a ledge outside. I put my water bottle and my money up there. But when he came out and shushed me, I moved my water bottle and I moved my money on the ground next to me. And then I stayed on the sidewalk. So he was like, um... When he shushed me, because I'm like, I'm not subhuman, I'm not inferior, and I'm not beneath anybody. So you're not going to shush me. Uh, you, you're not like, sh shoo, not shush, shoo me away like I'm nothing. And plus, I need to, I was talking to my daughter at the time. She heard the guy. After that, that wasn't good enough for him. So he came out and he, while I'm talking on the phone to my daughter, he's yelling at me. I mean, like, oh my God, I wish I had like Instagram had recorded that because I was talking to my daughter on Instagram and, uh, but like private, he's yelling, like if you were yelling somebody at somebody like a block away. So I'm pretty sure everybody else heard him. Nobody said to him, don't do that. They seen me for a month there. I know because the guy where I was wild pumping, he was like, everybody knows you now. Because they seen you walking up and down the street. You use the Wi-Fi. I go to the supermarket every day. He was yelling at me like I just got off the boat. And he was looking at me like he wanted to beat me. If he had a whip in his hand, he would have hit me with it. So I ignore him because I'm like, if I pay attention to this guy yelling at me, I'm going to get really angry. I, and I know myself. So I pretended like I didn't hear him. And my daughter was like, who's that? What's going on? I said, this guy is yelling at me, but I'm just going to ignore him. 
And then I said, you know what? Let's hang up the phone and I'm going to start recording him because he's doing too much. So we hung up the phone. I started recording him. You know what this fool did? He opened his window and threw something at me because I was standing like this with my back to him. He was behind me. He opened his window. That's, that's, that's when I turned on YouTube Live, like right before that. He threw something at me, and then you, when the video started, you can see me with my hands on my back because he had just thrown something at me, and he's still out his window saying stuff to me from his window. And I hope somebody if, uh, who understands Croatian comment in the comment on my video on YouTube and tell me what he said because they're very disrespectful to me here extremely so that happened yesterday then today, so i left because when i went back to where i was wild camping that guy there he used to be a police officer so i said the best thing i can do is ask if um if it's legal for them to do that if it where i was standing is illegal if it's legal, because in my mind even if i'm standing like close to your property you don't have to get violent with me and throw something at me. Like I heard them talking. They speak Hungarian. I speak Hungarian. And I understand way more. All he had to do was come down and be like, El Nizish, uh, Nem Eats, you know, could you move down the street? And I'd have been like, oh, but you know, Chuck, uh, in, uh, Kel, uh, you know, like all I need is five minutes and then I'll move. But he didn't even attempt to speak to me. He treated me like I'm some kind of beast. Because they think we're monkeys. I, I know. <laughs> Trust me. All the time I was in Hungary, they treated me like shit. Majority. I won't say all because I have friends here. Majority of the time, especially with Chigo, they treated me like shit. I left. I came to Croatia. But where I was in Croatia was very much on the uh, border with Hungary. And so it's Hungarians here. They still treat me like shit here. So then I was like, okay, I'm leaving. I left. I come to a, the next biggest city. The guy throw the money at me. You can hear the money fall. That's what made me turn around. Because I went over there to tell him, you're a scammer because you're overcharging people. Because I know that's something that they do. They like to overcharge foreigners. But as soon as I called him out on his mess, I'm not, I'm not, because so, you know, th this is the thing. They think that, okay, because he called me African. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not African because the reason why I checked them, not because I'm not proud of my ancestors, because I'm very proud of my ancestors. And it really is, I can't hide it. Like, you know, and I stay outside all the time. So I just keep getting darker and darker. The thing is that when they say African, what they mean is poor, immigrant, beggar, piece of shit. We can use you to squirt our cum on and fuck you. And that's what he said to me. Fuck off. And uh, no service for you. That I got that on recording. He was like, I won't serve you. That's what he said to me. And he threw the money at me. That's on recording. And I sent that recording with his face. He started recording me too. And I gave him my name and everything. Because I told him, I want you to know who I am. Because when you find out how ignorant you are and how you've treated me, you're going to feel so stupid. Because he, he kept calling me African. And I told him, I'm not African. I was like, I'm from the States. I'm American. And he was like, yeah, right. I said, I have my passport right here. I refuse to open it because I don't have to prove anything. He said, I'm going to call the police. I said, call them. Call them. Because you're going to look like the idiot you, you, that you are. You, and I told him, you're very ignorant. Because I told him, not all black people come from Africa. Back in the day, yes. We, you have white people whose ancestors are from all over the world. We're not talking about that. We're talking about where you were born. I was born in the States. My parents were born in the States. My grandparents were born in the States. My great grandparents were born in the States. You have black people. Granted, I have plenty of different people in my family and I don't need to explain this to anybody. I'm just saying people keep, they treat you like what they, when they first see you in this part of the world. And the guy was like, well, this is the Balkans. And I'm like, you're giving the Balkans a bad name. Because I heard stuff about Cro how he treated me is what I heard about Croatia. And this is a bigger city. It's not like a village like when the guy threw something at me yesterday in the village. You expect that kind of stuff there. Me personally, I don't. I do and I don't. But I don't expect this stuff in a bigger city. Because in a bigger city, they seem foreigners. He told me, get out of here black, African, fuck off. He was saying so much shit to me. And then what really got to me and made me really like really, really, really down 
is that there was another guy standing next to me. And I said to him, this gentleman heard you throw the money at me. And he was like, no, 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 no. Like they don't want to get involved when they can clip. You see this, this male being aggressive and violent towards a female and you're not going to speak up and say anything. So for me, and, and, the, and then that, that was pretty much it. And I was pissed and I, but I wound up finding my way to the accommodation where I am now. It's really nice. I've stayed here before and the people here are, are really chill here. I, I suppose, I don't know. But I got, I asked the guy here, the one of the owners to call a taxi for me. So he called a taxi for me and I heard him tell the taxi driver, well, she's American. Cause, and that's a shame. Like, but here in the Balkans, you have to say that because when they see me, they go, oh, African. And I already know what they think. Cause it's not African. Like how we see it, like, oh, African, like pride and beauty and foo foo. When they say African, it's like poor beggar trash that so he said to the guy well she's american she's one of our guests it's a shame that you have to do that here it should just be call a taxi get in a taxi whether you're black green blue. but here in the balkans you can't do that and that's been my personal experience and i heard the owner say that too like she's american like to validate me somehow anywho so the taxi driver came and um we were talking and i just felt like I could tell him what happened. When I told the taxi driver what happened yesterday and today, he was like, they're primitive. He was like, it happened here in this big city. Like I said, I'm going to say which one. People can probably guess it if they're from Croatia. But anyway, um, so I said, uh, yeah. He was like, well, he's primitive. People, he said, because people, um, I almost said it. People in this city are not like that. Because I, it's a safety thing. I don't like to tell people exactly where I am. But I told my family members, they know. And the people that the racists know, so that's wonderful. Um, uh, but it's okay. I'm protected. It's okay. <sighs> anyway, so he was like, no, no. And I, I really started to calm down when I was talking to the taxi driver because he's traveled a lot. And he was like, he's been to like, you know, countries where it's a lot of black people and white people, and green people, and blue, whatever. He, he's traveled. So I was like, yeah, I'm like, but why do they keep throwing stuff at me? Like, and like, they feel it's okay to throw stuff at me. And when in my mind, I'm thinking, why didn't the other m males that were there, like speak up on my behalf and be like, Hey man, don't do that. That's really disrespectful. Like you should, there was a woman there. I didn't, I don't know. Maybe she said something later, but I saw her turn around and look at me. And then she was like, mm -hmm, and she walked up and I'm just like, like, they think it's okay to like be violent towards us, but they don't want us to think they're racist or anything like that. In my experience, they are. Now, like, uh, have I met people here in Croatia that have been nice and kind to me? Yes, I have. When I was in the smaller town, the, the ladies, there were two women at the grocery store, very nice. But at the same time, if something happened to me, I don't think they would speak up and say anything because they got to live there. And I understand that. But it's just like, I can't then I can't be in a place like that because people keep asking me, how long are you going to stay in Croatia? I'm like, how, how can I stay in Croatia? And not feel unsafe i already feel unwelcome here i've already been disrespected here on multiple occasions so how can i stay in a country like that and you want me to just stay here and allow people to treat me violently and disrespectfully and then be happy about it I'm, i can't do that so i'm going to move on i don't know when but i just wanted to come on live and tell y'all like what happened because um it's really a hot mess and I've, I've not ever been in, been in a situation, like I told you, um, years ago, years ago, cause people just don't, don't do me like that now, but years ago, um, I got into a, like a physical fight with a, of a male. Males love fighting me because they, they want to like, um, break me, you know? And, and like, because they can see I'm a strong female, they think I'm too masculine. So they're always trying to break me. Even the place where I just said, I have so, so much to tell you guys that I haven't said because I was in the situation and I don't want to say too much, but now I'm kind of out of it. So th this is what's going on tonight. I walked 15 kilometers in 37 degrees Celsius weather today. I'm dead tired. Um, I have to rehydrate myself and everything like that, but I need to get this out. Be needed because I've already said it now. Needed to get this out because um, it, it's just doing too much, and um, 
I just don't think this is a place for black people. I don't think this is a place for uh, people of color because, um, like, I go out of my, if I know any words in the local language, I always say it, even when they, um, you know, say whatever, I always say, you know, Vala Vaughn, Vala Vaughn, just thank you kindly or some shit. And I'm just like, you know, I try the best I can, but like, they, they try to make you seem so ignorant just because you don't, you're not fluent in their language the first day you come here. And it's just really like, I'm tired of these experiences, experiences. Like I'm tired of like, I said to my daughter the other day, and not, this is going to sound however it sounds, but anybody who know me know I just don't give a fuck. I'm just going to say how I feel and say the truth. Like, I feel like I don't have the experience traveling that white people have. I feel like when white people travel, they don't have to get interrogated and like people believe them when they say they're like digital nomad and that they're doing all these things. But when I say it, people think, oh, I, all I do is have sex and that's how I make money. Meanwhile, I've been celibate for almost eight years. I use my brain. That's what I do. And they, they can't believe that. They want, they call me monkey. They call me African, which, bitch, you, you, you're trying to insult me. But I, they say it as an insult, but I know my ancestors um, and every continent they come from. They call, get out of here, black, fuck off. Like, I can't keep being in these kind of environments and be mentally healthy. And everybody knows that my mental health is very dear and very precious to me. And it's like they... Like the guy that threw the money at me today, you know, he works at a kiosk. So I don't know his life story, but sometimes when people see you doing what they want to do, like they get angry. Like how can you as a N-I-G-G-E-R be able to travel and me as a white male, I can't. And that's the energy that he was giving off. And I was just like, dude, like that's, first of all, now Croatia is in the European Union. You can travel all you want to. You're the one that keep yourself keep yourself stuck here. Ain't nobody keeping you stuck here. And you don't have no reason to get angry with me because I told you that you're overcharging people for the, the drinks. You are overcharging people for the drinks. Even if it's 30 cents. If he overcharged everybody that come to his shop 30 cents, that's a lot of money in his pocket at the end of the day. And I'm not going to allow myself to be scammed. So it is what it is, you know. So now I got to get called racial slurs because I corrected him for overcharging people. And he was recording me too. And he, he going to say, from what I understood, because he said paper, sutra. He was like, uh, you're you going to be in the paper tomorrow. Good, because it makes sure you, and I told him, my name is Tammy LaShure. Because when people look me up and they see everything I've done with my life and they see Oh, wow. Well, Why she is from the States. And I would say, I mean, it doesn't matter if they look me up, don't look me up. But I'm just saying he tried to like, make me out like I'm coming over there being disrespectful and like I'm just some beggar. Because, you know, I got on my, uh, you know, I had on my socks with my, you know, they, they call them gypsy shoes, but it's like flip flops or whatever. And I'm just like, you know what? Y'all can think whatever y'all want to think about me. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, I'm still going to do what I need to do. I'm still going to do what I want to do. But the thing about it is, is that like, the sad part for me is that I realized that there are countries that I can no longer travel to because they are just too racist. They are too, and if people say, oh, they're not racist, they're just closed-minded. Well, I'm not going to keep putting myself in this situation, in these situations. I can't do it anymore. You know, I can't. I love y'all and whoever is in here in the video, I thank y'all. Um, how, how am I? I'm not so good today because um, people keep being violent towards me. They keep throwing stuff at me here in Croatia and it's, it's the Croatian males and I'm just not, I'm just not having a good time here in Croatia. So, you know, I, before I came, I'm not going to say what I heard before I came here, but my experience here has been shit, you know? So, um, can I show the dress you're wearing? Okay. It's, I, I already showed it. Um, so, and it's not a dress, it's a skirt and top, but, um, it's just shit, you know, like I'm just tired of being treated like, um, nothing. And then the people who 
seem to like be show any that's a tiny bit of interest in me they just want to get f-u-c-k-e-d and i'm like well i'm celibate so you might as well move on to the next person because i'm not interested um in random f-u-c-k-s's so uh if you're not my soulmate we're not doing it so i haven't met my soulmate for eight years some people came close but they weren't it uh so year eight here i come of celibacy so yeah anyway i'm gonna go because i need to like get all these drinks in my body before tomorrow because i might be leaving i might not i don't know i love y'all and um oh how can you hey me mama um i don't just say prayers for me pray rebuke the devil bind the devil because um you know, the thing about it is, is that like here in Croatia, if what the guy told me is true, then they can throw stuff at me and nothing will happen to them because, and I, I want, I tend to believe that because why do they feel so comfortable throwing stuff at me twice in two days? It's happened. Why? And, and then no one, no one comes to my defense. No one says, Hey, don't throw that at her. And they're standing there when they're throwing these things at me. So they, I think because they, uh, some years ago, they had uh, a lot of migrants come through here and they were all of color. And so now they have this really, I think they had it before the migrants came through, but I wasn't here. So I can't speak on that. Um, I just passed her on the bus. I didn't like come and visit Croatia, but I think they have a hatred for black people. I really believe that like in the Balkans now, the only country that I've been to where I've had, I've, I've not had like racism that I've, that I've noticed was Bosnia. Bosnia is the only country where I, those people there like will go out of there. And that country is the country where I thought I had found my soulmate and it didn't happen. And I still say those people there were some of the kindest, not just like they went out of their way to help me. You know, and it's a predominantly Muslim country. And I bring that up because people always want to talk shit about uh, people that are Muslims and Muslims. Are. But in my experience, and I'm dressed like how I'm dressed. I don't have no hijab on. You know, I come, <laughs> as they would say, scantily clad. And they still nice to me, even though I'm not, you know, hijabed up, you know, knee cobbed up. They still nice to me. So I can't, I can't like hate people just, that's like I'm saying I can't hate people just because somebody else hates them. If you hate them, that's your business. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Because when I go to Bosnia, they show me love. I come to Croatia, they throw stuff at me. So, where, where, who, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my experience. And then when they're not throwing stuff at me, the guy where I was staying was telling me that what I'm doing, how I'm living my life is not going to be good. And like, um, he was asking me like, Oh, how you make your money, how you buying your food, but in a really like undercover, like ulterior motive way. And I'm just like, yeah, you're being disrespectful. I don't have to tell you my business. I don't have to tell you nothing about my life, you know, because they all think that black people are stupid. They think we don't know how to use our brains. They think we're idiots. They think we're incompetent. They think we're highly promiscuous. And that's all we do all day. They think we're lazy and don't work. So for me, I want to get out of here because I don't want to be in a place where I have to constantly defend myself because I'm not going to defend myself. I'm not going to constantly prove myself to anybody because you, you're not entitled. Nobody is entitled to anybody else's business. If I feel like answering the question, I will, but I don't want to be interrogated because I'm not asking them about their business. And I have a lot of questions that I could ask them, but I'm not asking. It's not my business. So I go in about my way. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go because I love y'all and uh, whoever this is. Hi. Thank you for joining. But yeah, I'm going to, uh, I might send you the video, Chanel, and show you what happened because, um, like I said, I'm, I'm not really worried, worried for my safety. But I've never like been in a place where people have gotten violent like this with me. Like I said, the last time somebody got violent with me, I fought them. 
But here in Croatia, I feel like if I fight back, I'm going to be the one to go to prison, even though they started throwing stuff at me. Because I'm looking at the people around me and nobody is helping me. When I was, I'm going to tell you where it happened because everybody, I read it's on Facebook and it's, it got published in the newspaper. When I was in, um, when I was in Bulgaria, the guy there, uh, he, you know, was on drugs and stuff and we wound up getting into a physical fight. So it is what it is. Guys love fighting me. Males love fighting me. So I guess they figure if they can't f u c k me, then they might as well fight me. Well, you you gonna fight? You gonna get fought then? Cause I'm not gonna sit there and let you hit me. So let's fight. You know, but let it be even. Don't be like if whoever the foreigner is the one that wrong. No, if you hit me, then I'm gonna defend myself. I have every. I'm what I'm supposed to do. Stand there and let you womp on me and not defend myself? Nah, I don't think that's right. But here in Croatia, I feel like if I defend myself, they're like, oh, look at that aggressive black woman. So I'm like, let me leave then because if y'all get to keep throwing stuff at me and I can't defend myself, then I need to go because I'm not going to let you keep being violent towards me. And nobody helped me. Nobody helped me. No. And I have it on recording. I turn to the, I'm going to send you the recording, Chanel. I turned to the right and I said, this, this gentleman was in, he was like, no, no, no. And you can hear the money. Like he threw the money. And so I turned around and I was like, did you just throw that money at me? And he was like, you will, I'll not serve you here. Like real disrespectful. And he, uh, he recorded it too, but he was saying so many racial slurs. He was calling me, like I told you, Afrikanski. He was calling, get out of here, black, and all this stuff. It was bad. It was bad. So that's how people are. or That's how that guy was. I don't know. But I know I'm leaving because I'm not, I'm not going to let it happen a third time. For what? No. I'll send you the video, uh, Chanel. Yeah, it's crazy. It was crazy. But that's what they want. They want all white countries. That's what that's what I believe. Those are my personal feelings. Because I've been to different countries where they've treated me really bad because of my color. And in my opinion, they want like the Balkans and Eastern Europe to be pure white. That's how I see it. And that's how I think they want it. They can have it because I'm not going to stay here and be abused by nobody. So if that's how they want it, then God bless you. That's all I can say. I can't say nothing else. But I love y'all. I'm going to go and um, yeah, I love y'all. Bye. Thank you, y'all. I love y'all. Bye.